What's going on guys, it's Adam here at FM Immortal where today I'm going to be helping anyone scratching their heads on whether or not to purchase FM24 when it releases this week. And I'm going to be doing it by breaking things down into four simple questions. Number one then, is FM24 good value for money? Well the short answer is yes, it's a relatively inexpensive game. There are no necessary add-ons that you need to purchase or chargeable expansions that you can expect and you can pick up the game now for around about £37 or potentially as low as £30 via sites like CD Keys. The average player I would say plays the game for around 6 seasons and you're looking at around 15 hours of gameplay per season, so you might be looking at an entertainment value of as little as 33 pence per hour enjoyed. For this incredibly complex and in my humble opinion very rewarding title. Now of course the typical starting price for an FM title is usually around £40 to £45, pounds, but that £37 entry point we've mentioned is available for anyone who's pre-ordered in the next few days. However, the typical pattern in this game's history is that it would drop to around 30% off after 3 months, and towards the back end of August in this year's instalment, FM23 was made available for free for all Amazon Prime customers via Prime Gaming. I feel like I should mention though that there are loads of useful sites out there that look to enrich Football Manager, with custom skins, fully licensed badges and kits and even player database updates that mean the club and league structures are all updatable regardless of you owning the latest instalment of the game. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see us do a video on the best of these mods. Our second question is, is FM24 a significant improvement on FM23? I'm going to be as honest as I can with this answer. I think for a brand new player to Football Manager, the games over the past four years won't feel dramatically different, but the quality of life upgrades in FM24 that the developer Sports Interactive have promised and that we've since experienced in the early access beta have been very warmly received. On the pitch the aesthetics upgrades are minor but still noticeable against last year's game and off the pitch there have been major enhancements to things like set pieces, player interactions, transfers and finance management and many other smaller bugbears of players have also been addressed. On screen right now as we understand it is the full list of new features and enhancements that comes along with FM24. Though it's early days and we may spot some otherwise under the radar improvements in time. Long story short then, yes, seasoned players will feel the difference in this year's game. Question 3 then, how does FM24 compare to other football games? Well this is where I think it gets very spicy. Now presumably if you're wondering whether or not to buy Football Manager, I'll take it that you are already a fan of football and football games. Perhaps you've even played a previous instalment of Football Manager. Well then let's have a look at this comparison against the market leader for football simulation and a set of criteria that I'll do my very best not to be so biased about. I'll start by saying saying that both games are fairly susceptible to scrutiny when it comes to how similar they appear to the previous year's instalments. But let's be honest, if you were put straight into a match on FIFA 13, I don't think that now you'd be able to tell it apart from FIFA 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I think you get where I'm going with this. But the level of detail that has crept into Football Manager over the years, albeit through smaller, maybe incremental improvements, makes it now easily the most comprehensive football simulation ever. Now on to a side-by-side -side comparison of what you're actually getting from either game. Firstly then, kicking the ball. In terms of actually controlling players, honing your dribbling skills, taking shots and picking out passes, EAFC is obviously the only of the two where you are in complete control of a player. In terms of multiplayer too, EAFC has to take the crown. It has far superior support for quick match finding, differing game modes and multiplayer competitions, albeit on about as toxic a player base as you can find. In terms of the pick up and play criteria, again EAFC is fairly seamless when it comes to getting instant play on the go. 
But I have to say, Football Manager is unique in the sense that you can almost always have it on, dipping in and out as you see fit, so I'm not going to give too much of a bad score against Football Manager here, but I think it's still a win for FIFA. Then in terms of addictiveness, well, Football Manager has to score a 10 out of 10 for me on this one. It's simply impossible to stop playing sometimes, and that's not always a good thing. But it goes to show how good the game is. It consumes you in the right ways, but sometimes the wrong. And that's why we're going to let it outscore EAFC here, which we feel is addictive in more of a gambly way, if we're honest, particularly with its ultimate team game mode and those packs that you have to actually pay for. The next criteria then is witnessing wonder goals. Now, a bit more by bias is going to seep through here, but it is my humble opinion that after 12 or so hours of matches on FIFA, so let's say for argument's sake 60 matches, you've basically seen it all. Every single type of goal you're going to see in that game has been scored, and everything thereafter is just a different replica. It's not quite like the old days of Pro Evolution Soccer, where there was more fluidity in the ball movement and the manual shot options that existed in pairs for almost two decades made it feel like you were still going to see a unique goal with every game you played. In FIFA and now in EAFC, there's a rigidity that feels like there's a certain way to score from all of about 10 different attacking positions, and you just see those time and time again. In Football Manager though, you can play for a thousand hours and still discover unexpected ways players put the ball into the net. Better content creators than I have compiled some of the best goals observed in FM23, and we recommend you give that a search on YouTube. One of our latest vids as well though had two absolute worldies featured in it, so go check that out too. The next criteria is creating tactics, uh, and hands down Football Manager takes the crown here. There's a reason why there are so many tip videos on this game, because the number of combinations of tactics, formations and instructions that you can generate in this game are insane. There is so much to learn and so much to explore. On to discovering talent then, and again I think Football Manager is the more comprehensive and rewarding when it comes to scouting, and it's new gens that you can discover years into your FM saves are some people's favourite part of the game. It wasn't even that long ago that Sky Sports were using Football Manager to compare signings on transfer deadline day. On to realism and licensing then, well EAFC won the battle against Pe for two reasons. They had incredible multiplayer support and a very polished, fully licensed set of teams, kits and stadia. Football Manager may not have every single entity licensed upon purchase, but it is very much achievable when you know where to look. We're talking about the PC version of the game here by the way, and there are mods aplenty. In terms of depth and mechanics, well the only games that I think could even try and rival themselves against Football Manager's complexity are Baldur's Gate 3, which is one of the deepest role-playing games we've ever played, and Stellaris, which is a real-time strategy game set in space that has ludicrous depth. It is simply mind-boggling, the number of moving parts, simultaneous calculations and decision points for players that are in play at any given moment in FM, and that can be too much for some, because it does mean that the learning curve is a little steeper in Football Manager, certainly in comparison to EAFC, but we think it's totally worth it. Our penultimate criteria is immersion and storytelling, and the biggest reason we think FM is worth playing is for the immersive experience. The stories the game can weave are just fantastic, and you are guaranteed to be gripped by local derbies, clashes with rivals, and the build-up to cup finals plus the legacy that you can create for not just yourself but your club. I think I've fallen in love with three very random teams in the last five years, and I don't think that that would have happened if all I played was EAFC. But I will say this, EAFC has some great multiplayer experiences that can grip you too, and I'd give a special mention to the Pro Clubs game mode, which can be excellent fun with friends, but you can't beat FM for football immersion. And last but not least, which game scratches that football itch more? Well, again, I'm going to try and be fair here, and I think it depends on how you want to enjoy a football game. I'm going to give both games 8 out of 10 here, because I think they both lack in that complete experience. 
If you could jump into a player's shoes in Football Manager and play out a single game like you might as a single player in pro clubs in EAFC, perhaps that would become the be-all and end-all of football video game experiences, but make of this what you will. I've obviously got some underlying resentment in me that EAFC's success meant that Pro Evolution Soccer met its downfall. I still maintain that overall, certainly for older video gamers anyway, Football Manager edges it on the overall enjoyment levels. But what do you think? Do you prefer one over the other? Perhaps you enjoy both, but for very different reasons. Let us know down in the comments because we are always trying to learn more about this community. But on to the last question. Will I enjoy Football Manager? I think that summarising the previous answers we run through, you can get a lot of enjoyment out of FM24. I think that if you are a big football fan, you're guaranteed to love Football Manager once you get up to speed with how to play the game. You can even watch us set up the game properly and take all the right first steps in FM24 in these two beginner's guide videos if you want. However, I don't think that our answers about value and playing time, all the improvements in this year's game and how it fares against the likes of EAFC quite cuts it for whether or not FM is for you. So I'll say this. If you're still on the fence, the best bit of advice I can give you is to immerse yourself in the FM community, whether that's on YouTube, TikTok or Twitter. Obviously I'm going to recommend that you follow FM Immortal, but we'd say that it's also worth following others like Zealand and FM Scout, and you'll have plenty of gameplay run-throughs as well as funny and informative videos to then support your decision. Ultimately though, unless you like the idea of creating a legacy at a club, delivering a tactical masterclass or scouting and negotiating transfers for hidden gems, you're probably better off scratching that football itch with EAFC. That'll do it for today's video though folks. Do drop any questions that you may still have for us down in the comments and we'll always try to reply. Hope you have a better idea now as to whether or not Football Manager is for you and if it is for you we hope to see you again soon on the FM Immortal channel. And if Football Manager isn't your cup of tea, why not go and check out Flak Cannon Gaming? For reviews, tips and gameplay footage of loads of different games, from PUBG and other FPS games, to RPGs, RTSs and everything in between. Until next time though, have a great day and we'll catch you soon. Adios.